Don't without explain. memories. <laughs> How convenient! Then let's do a series of introductory quests to remember who we are. Welcome to the initial beta test of Asta. Alright guys, this is Melwin. Welcome back to the backlog. And uh, continuing the MMO kick we've been on recently, I'm going to be checking out the Asta beta today. This is actually, I think, the first day of the beta. It might be the second day due to time zone differences. It's a... I, I'm not sure, but we're within the first 24 hours of, of the game at any rate, so... Um, the I, I don't know much about this game. I watched part of one video about it. It looks absolutely gorgeous, and just based on how good it looked, I decided to jump in. So, Oh, secondary account. These things piss me off. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know why, but they do, so I'll edit this part out. Alright, so we got our password created. We have to choose here. I guess there are probably factions. Um, I'm gonna pronounce all of this wrong, I'm sure. Asu <laughs> is one of the realms, uh, yada yada yada. Okay, it's humans, draconians, so people, dragons, and tigers look like. And this one... The world of the dead. Interesting. Uh, humans, ogres, and yayo. We're gonna go for. We're gonna go for the quote-unquote good guys. I think. I think we'll go with these folks. Let's do. Uh, let's do rogue. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see the uh, the animal face sorta now. Oh, wow. They are not cute. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know what? Let's, uh, let's stick with that. The fallen goddess Arita set out to... Oh, missed that. As her return would bring about the end of heaven, the eight trigams were determined to stop her. Victory for Samsara would have meant the destruction of heaven at the hands of the ninth god and a host of Nirvana warriors, causing great upheaval in divine hierarchy. It's a little bit choppy here. Usak, a commander of the 8th Trigram's army. Okay. Only by using the power of the five elements permeating Samsara could the Nirvana warriors match the enemy's strength. However, Kalsaris the... <laughs> Good lord. These are flashing by pretty quickly here. Uh, God of Death. Being an asshole, dividing Samsara into two worlds, they can never again unite and rise up. There's our two factions. Since that day, Samsara has been divided into Asu and Aura. You unable to hold on to the outstretched hand of the Savior land somewhere in either of those worlds without memories. <laughs> How convenient! Then let's do a series of introductory quests to remember who we are. Or perhaps, maybe we should just help the villagers. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, we have received one free divine spirit summoning points and two. Underwater. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. All right, what do we got here? Got a normal attack. Got a. Oh dear. All right. Well. Press F to interact. You listen to me. It's fortunate you're still alive, no matter how it is. For what have you? Oh God. For what have you come out of water pipe? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the clothes you're wearing? At least I have the supplies box of Rogue. I'll give it to you and put it on. Okay, once you accept a quest, we we'll register in the quest window. Well, yeah. Let's open our inventory. Let's open the box. Put on the stuff.
trainees search for many places to find out strange. Okay, yeah, we're done reading the quest text for now. That is entirely broken English. You can check details by clicking the button. You can check the quest information on the mini map. So it looks like three teleported me behind. Yes, it did. Pick up. Take it all. All right. Nice. That actually works really well. Once you select a monster as a target, the effect is displayed under your feet. You can change the target by pressing tab. Gotcha. So if I clear my target, uh... Well, it doesn't seem to be doing anything, but... Well, the combat is pretty nice, at least. Oh, there's click to move, also. Yep, we're done. Uh, can you kill some roots? Absolutely, I can. The camera is kind of bad, though, to be honest. Uh, broken branch has been falling from up above. Yada, yada, yada. What the hell the manager in Steam Turbine is doing? Oh god. Complete, or er, collect uh, broken wood pieces. Check. God damn, stop with the pop ups. That's enough. 당장은 사용할 수 없습니다. Okay, this camera is terrible. Time to look at options here. Uh, distribute stat points. Okay, we'll do that real quick. Save. Just gonna add to attack and a little bit to health. Enhance your stats once a day for free. Okay. Huh. Okay. Interesting. So the combat works pretty well. It's uh, it's, it's striking me as as somewhat generic. Well, not somewhat. It's striking me as quite generic. Um, but that that's not that's not entirely a bad thing. I do not like the camera at all. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna look for the menu here see what can be done about this camera because whoo it is kind of bad skill camera effect camera will automatically adapt to the movement of combat skills yep let's turn that off uh, yeah those things are all fine There we go. I just, I have some motion sickness issues, so I don't like the camera to rapidly flip around like that. Of course, this, this way is not working very well either, but I'll deal with it for now. I'm satisfied with you. Uh, 
Uh, climb up the long stairs, go talk to somebody. Check. New ability, <laughs> rapidly attack the enemy, giving damage of blah blah blah. Alright. It's a kitty holding a happy balloon, very nice. Two slot yes, I know, oh my god. Stop telling me that. Tigerians live in the ancient forts of Tengun, a lonely peninsula in the north of Asu. Growing influence from the rest of Asu triggered a bitter dispute among traditionalists and progressive Tigerians, causing deep divisions within the tribe. God damn, I read fast and there's barely enough time to get these out. In the end, progressive faction prevailed. Yet progress in the advanced mechanical inventions and technology came at the expense of Tangun's ancient forests. Okay, I'm just gonna say, whoever is doing the translations for these cutscenes needs to be doing the ones for the quest text also, since I'm gonna be showing this to the developer, um, so hopefully they see this and get that, and whoever's been doing the translations for the cutscenes, please get them on the quest text, because the quest text is, is awful. It's just awful. Um... And no offense, I mean, I, I would not do any better if it being, I only speak English. Um, if I had to do translation into another language, I wouldn't do a very good job of it. However, I'm not being paid to do that. Uh, so, yeah, that, that definitely needs to be fixed. Something for you to do. Eat the yummy dish on the table that I'm giving you as a prize. Okay. What table? Aha! Uh -huh. Tasty dish! I understand you are boosted because of training, but do you leave after knowing how to dis- uh, I will give you a piece of crap equipment, open your bag and disassemble it with the skill of disassembly. Right on. Dismantle that. Got it. Level 3 reached. We're a badass. Well, let's take a look at some of the other menus here and see what we got. What are these up here? Connection reward. Oh, I'll get it in 17 minutes. And a soul stone. I don't know what that does. So I assume it's for resurrection. This reward is given to each account once a day. Do you wish to receive the daily reward? Yes, I do. 50 whatever currency. One free instant collection. Whatever the heck that means. Guild War. Okie dokie. Got character. Uh oh. Shop. Oh good, it doesn't seem to be opening anything up yet, so that's good. Um, quests, got a wanted list. Uh, not really any information for what that is. Sorry, inventory of course. Crafting, nothing there yet. Achievements, looks like we've got quite an expansive list of them here. Some of them are still zero out of zero though. It's alright. Map. Got battlegrounds and arenas. Uh, have to be level 10 before you can do that. Got social options here for dungeons and etc. Normal and hard modes. Please select the dungeon, of which there is none for my level, of course. Alright, so it's got all the standard stuff that you'd expect to see here. It seems perfectly functional. Me not liking the camera is, is uh, you should not personally hold that against the game because I am really sensitive to that stuff. 
like more so than anybody I have talked to about it, so don't let me saying that uh, dissuade you from this. This looks like a, a really solid start. Uh, it's very well put together. Combat works well. I like the animations. So I don't know, I'll, I'll put a link to this down in the description. Um, it's pretty much free for anybody to try right now. I'm sure it'll be a free to play game, not a buy to play or subscription or anything when it launches. I'm sure it'll be free. Uh, so looks like it's worth checking out. I'm going to play it some more, but for now I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So <laughs> that effect where the camera get gets wet, that just really tickles me. I like that a lot. Oh, what an unfortunate looking creature this is. Look at that. I don't know. Um, Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, I have some, like I said, I've been on a big MMO kick lately, so I have some other videos up about various new MMOs that are out right now. Dragon Hunter, Davillion, uh, Das Tall, and some other ones. Uh, I'm thinking about putting up some Star Wars The Old Republic content soon, but honestly, EA has pissed me off so bad that I'm not sure that I want to continue playing the game, even though I enjoy it. But uh, this one's cool, so definitely check it out. Thank you guys very much. I, I appreciate you watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed, because I put out usually at least one video a day, sometimes more than one. Check out the other doublejump.info channels as well. Those guys are awesome, and I love them to death. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. Oh my god. Wow, that is, that is slightly terrifying. Wow, that is a big, scary son of a bitch.